For the past hour, I had seriously contemplated closing my YouTube channel. DevShell2 made a video recently entitled, YouTube is a Battlefield. And at this point, I agree 100% with what he said. People can agree 99% about something. But if there's just 1% of difference in opinion, you're suddenly considered to being on the opposite side. Now this is a problem we just have as humans. Just a typical pattern. It's why Republicans won't take criticism from Democrats and Democrats won't take criticism from Republicans. Why anarchists won't take criticism from totalitarians why totalitarians won't take criticism from anarchists. Why atheists won't take criticism from religious people. Why religious people won't take criticism from atheists. It makes me think about how there's a number of people out there that try to say that Religious people are the ones that are the primary ones who are unwilling to question their own beliefs. But I actually really, really disagree with that, and I think that everyone of every demographic has an equal percentage of people within those demographics that are unwilling to question their own beliefs. Sometimes you just have to find someone's sacred cow. I'm tired of being the primary person who is willing to change... I'm willing to change my view on a dime, very quickly, when I'm offered a new piece of information. Sometimes the change is so quick and so abrupt and so severe that people don't even believe that I've changed my view. Because just a moment prior to that, I could have had such strong feelings about a subject that they'd think I'd never budge. And there's people that will see me change my views on things so often, and yet will still continue to treat me that every subject I talk about, I'm not going to budge on. I think that's because most people are so used to those who are not willing to change their views. There have been some people who have told me that, uh, I'm just, uh, when I have changed my views so quickly, they're like, well, you're just trying to suck it up to your subscribers so you can make more money on your videos. I'm like, um, first off, you're wrong, and second, I don't monetize my videos. You know? <laughs> um... I'm tired of this mindset where, you know, if you, if I, going back to, to what DevShell2 had kind of said, you know, I could, I could agree 95% with feminist theory, and if I say something bad about the 5% that I don't agree with, I'm a uh, misogynistic rape apologist, MRA, uh, MGTOW. If I disagree with 5% of what MRAs say, or talk about, I am a person who supports the concept of man-spreading, and, am, 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 and, and I am a mangina.
if I state things like um, for good people to do bad things and still believe they're doing good things, that takes um, and they're not forced into it that takes a combination of faith and a victim complex that uh, I'm saying bad things uh, I'm saying bad things about all religion and all religious people that if I uh, state anything negative about what some of new atheism does to people that I'm no different than a fundamentalist all this just gets very old I've been doing uh, forums a lot of political forums since the late 80s on dial-up bulletin board systems back on the Commodore 64 and the Amiga I've sort of thrived on conflict because it would definitely force me to question things to question my views, to question my mindset but again I'm kind of sick of being seeming like I'm the only one and then being told that I'm lying when I say that I've changed my viewpoint on something. Another thing I'm tired of so much is that when I'm trying to make a point, some points require generalizations to be made if one doesn't want to take hours just to explain something. But no matter what the generalization is about, there's going to be a dozen people or more jumping down your throat because you dared to make a generalization. Heck, I bet there's some people that will uh, jump down my throat because I say that I'm, I seem to be the only one that's willing to change my viewpoint on a dime, and sometimes so extremely. And there'll be people that will get after my case just for making that statement. Oh, you're making a generalization. That's terrible. I am... I'm tired of conflict. The enjoyment I used to get out of that died technically last night or earlier this morning like in a fire making screaming sounds like lobster being boiled alive it's just done it's done You know, I've gotten to the root of this issue. You know, I was trying to say, oh, well, I'm not going to subs subscribe to any particular ideology. And then I tried, well, maybe I would kind of fit an ideology if I wasn't, uh, if there weren't so many people poisoning an ideology. And well, that wasn't right either. But... You know, YouTube is a battlefield. It gets far more emotional and nasty than any forum I've ever been on. I know that things can get pretty nasty on Twitter and Tumblr and... and uh, Reddit, too. You know, 
If in future videos where I'm sharing something I'm musically musically that I'm working on, I'm talking about games and things that I enjoy. I'm sharing places that I go. And I start running across people that really still want that conflict, like I had thrived on for so long, that, you know, that conflict, that the enjoyment of it died in a fire, figuratively. Um, and it goes for more than a couple posts from people. I'm going to say fuck you and block you. Because if the only thing that you can say about someone trying to enjoy their life is something to try to destroy that enjoyment they have in their life, then you're not worth having around. So... During those times over this past hour that I had fleetingly considered closing my YouTube channel, I knew that I would very, very much regret it if I did. I sort of felt like I owed my subscribers something that they're used to me talking about or sharing or whatever. They're, they're used to my conflict. And I felt that I sort of owed them a continuation of that. But I can't care. I can't care whether or not I lose a thousand subscribers just because I have decided I'm I'm done with conflict. If that's what happens, that's what happens. I can't claim that it won't bother me a bit. I also have to stop lying to myself where, I mean, and if I'm lying to myself, I'm lying to others where I was trying to say, well, you know, uh, I don't really care that much about whether or not I lose subscribers. No, I, I cared. They would always bother me when I would lose, when a bunch of people would unsubscribe. But it's... It's time for me to move on from that. From that kind of mindset. And it's time for me to be a bit more selfish about the kind of videos that I make. It's time for me to be more selfish. I've been enjoying Second Life a lot again. I may start to DJ in Second Life again. Um, try to get my old computer working again that has Sam Broadcaster on it and try to get that going again. It's been, you know, I found that I, I just can't, like, if I want to, in real life, if I want to just go and enjoy karaoke, it has to be local. I don't really enjoy that very much. It, uh, the places around here, unless it's the place called The Mix, which is a mixed bar, you know, you know gay, straight, lesbian, bisexual. Um, transgender, whatever, LGBTQIAA. Um, I just don't really like the bar very much. It's it's it's. Um, it makes me feel claustrophobic. It's it's. Uh, cr 
crowded isn't the word. It's 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 too. There's not enough room. It just it just it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. And I don't really enjoy the crowd that's there very much, which is kind of sad. And when I go to the other places in Tacoma, try to go to the other places, they, they, there's just not very much of an appreciation for a lot of diversity. But when I go to Seattle or Olympia, there's lots of enjoyment of that. But I can't afford it. I mean, if I go to Seattle, it's like, you know, $13 for gas, then around $11 for parking, and then about 12 to 14 dollars for drinks and tips. I can't afford that. I could maybe afford to do that once a month, but I can't afford that. If I go to Olympia, I can cut out the I can cut out about five dollars in gas because it's, it's about 12 miles less than Seattle. And then I can cut out the price of parking. So that's still around sixteen, seventeen dollars when I go to Olympia. I can't do that very much either. At least with Second Life, the cost is very minimal. So, that might be what I'll start doing a bit more. And more gaming, in general. More MAME. More uh, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. More things in those areas. There's a camping trip coming up this weekend doesn't have to be camping because it's not that far away. It's the Longhouse Gathering. And uh, there's unfortunately a chance that the three bears might end up being there. And if they are, I'm sure as hell not going. But the weather is supposed to be shitty the whole weekend. Especially Saturday, it's supposed to be pouring rain. That is not a fun campground when it's pouring rain. It's not a fun time when it's pouring rain at that place. It just isn't. There are some places that are alright when it's raining, but this place is not so much that way. So... Needless to say, I'm, I'm a little bit down right now. Rent here is a lot higher than it used to be, um, but it's necessary. Um, that's between three hundred and fifty and four hundred a month. It used to be two hundred a month. Um, so. But, you know, I've got the things that I need. I still have technology around me. I have an internet connection. I have food. I have a nice place to stay. Um, and I have access to a vehicle. There's not... can't really complain. Um, but I also know that I'm still kind of unstable. My, my mindset, my mental stuff. I'm still not very stable. And it's kind of depressing. If I'm to get any sort of job, it would have to be very, very, very part-time. Like, what, uh, 10, 15 hours a week or something like that. At most. 
and I do plan on eventually doing that. Every week I look into Craigslist for bands looking for lead vocalists and I keep running into the same shitty sounds. It's almost always metal and they want screamers and growlers. And the times that I find some bands that have a sound that I like, when I go to answer it, they say, oh, we already have a singer. And they never bothered to take down their ad. So... Anyway, uh, wow, this video is over 20 minutes now. That's fine. So all this, this the first world stuff that I'm doing, I will probably I will be trying to share as much as I can. And if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. If I start losing subscribers left and right, fine. That's fine. But I, I no longer thrive on, on the conflict. I'm just... The enjoyment of that is done for me. So, picture the sound of lobster being boiled alive, and that's how I feel about conflict now. So...